Welcome to the 10-Minute Life Lesson Podcast. My name is Jay Cleveland Payne. I train people for improved personal and professional development, offering my assistance to those ready to develop their goals into tangible, focused, and achievable plans of action. And this podcast is one of the tools I use to accomplish my mission. Generally, when the timer hits 9 minutes and 59 seconds on this recording, you'll have a fully developed life lesson that you can take with you and begin to implement immediately. And if this week's lesson has a ring of familiar, then it's probably a reinforcement of a life change you've already started to implement. This podcast falls under the umbrella of my greater personal development efforts, all under the Your Better You brand. For more information on accountability coaching or to gain access to tools, tricks, and life hacks, visit yourbetteryou.info. Thank you for joining me on this journey today. Now, here is this week's life lesson. This week's lesson is inspired by some marketing work I've been doing, but it is an actual work for personal development. So bear with me while I go into the story that goes into our talk about stories. I was reading some articles and going into things about basically the marketing story type, how the stories we use in our marketing, in our businesses, help to define who we are and help to tell people who we are and how they can connect with us via stories. And through a couple of articles, eventually one really jumped out at me because it was unique in its in its premise. And it's the fact that storytelling is fairly simple. And what we should be doing is telling more simple stories, not going into deeper and more detailed and more dramatic stories to reel people in because we think that we need to do all that work to bring them in. What we really need to do is tell the story, get the information out and let them decide If you're good enough and your story is on point, it will connect. If it's not, then maybe you should move on to another customer or maybe you should tell another story, another simpler story that actually focuses on them and makes them want to pay money to you. And that's what the premise of today's lesson is. It's on the stories that we tell ourselves and we tell others in a sense, but it's mainly the stories we tell ourselves about how we should be or how we need to be, how we can be. When in actuality, we're probably closer to where we should, need, and can be right now. We just have been brainwashed to believe we need a bigger, more dramatic story. I'll use myself as a prime example. Sometimes I wish that I had larger, magnanimous, enormous, giant stories to kind of weave into things so that people would seem to be more, quote unquote, attractive to what I'm doing. Because, like I said, There seems to be a lot of detailed, complicated storytelling in the marketing business. But in actuality, it's not me, and I don't really want it to be me. In fact, because I call myself boring on purpose, my stories tend to not be all that excited because the boring on purpose part is the way to keep the drama out of my life. And with less drama, you have less dramatic stories, which makes your life go much smoother. But as I said, gives you less to talk about at parties unless you want to really get into the details of the specifics and the really boring gear work, which I can do well as well. But I don't like the drama. I don't like crazy things happening in my life because I just don't want to be dealing with it. And that means I don't have as many large, crazy stories to tell. That doesn't mean I'm not an interesting person. I believe I'm very interesting and I can have a conversation with just about anybody on just about anything. I have you know, some basic level knowledge on all sorts of things. I wanted to be a Jeopardy contestant younger, so I made sure I knew a lot about people. And I also work in the day job where I'm talking to different people, uh, different backgrounds, and trying to get their stories out, which means being interested in a lot of people and interested in their stories and picking apart the bits and details that really resonate and letting them know which parts they need to repeat, which parts they need to limit in getting the story told effectively and efficiently. We do this to ourselves. We do it uh, in a just weird way where you're not really thinking about it. But we do this to ourselves by telling ourselves the stories that we don't necessarily need to hear, but we think should be a part of our repertoire. We remind ourselves that we don't look as good as we probably should and definitely not as good as that person over there. We're not as smart as we probably should be and definitely not as smart as the person we're competing with over here. We're not as accomplished as we should be. We should be working harder to be more of what we should be showing off, not admitting that we're extremely tired from all the work we've done and resting our laurels on some good thing that we've already accomplished. 
We need more. We need bigger. We need grander. We don't necessarily need more, bigger, or grander. We need to be okay with being okay. We need to be fine with who we are, the story that we tell that is our actual story, and just be upfront with the fact that it may not be the most exciting story out there. Every movie can't be a Marvel cinematic masterpiece that intertwines with the, all the movies past and all the movies present leading up to what we're having in a few weeks as we record this one, a large crescendo with the Avengers Endgame. That is a 15-year journey of movies that they didn't know was going to work so well. And other companies uh, attached around other comic books are trying to do the same thing. And they're seeing it does not work so well. Lightning struck, lightning was caught in the bottle, and the Marvel people have been able to go through three phases of movies because they told very intricate stories that linked to each other in very small ways but kept the story going, the larger narrative going, in the bits and pieces. You don't need to do that. You just need to tell your story. You don't have to tell your complete story. You don't just have to tell a complete story. You don't have to tell your whole life story. You just have to tell a story about your life. And you have to tell it to yourself first and believe it first. And then you have to sort of edit and see what happens to make it work for other people. You don't necessarily have to self-edit when you tell it to yourself because hopefully you're saying in your head. Maybe you speak out loud to yourself like I do often, sometimes to microphones, sometimes to myself. But when you're telling the words, when you're saying the words to yourself about what you are, who you are, how you should be, it's not important to have a long, detailed backstory to bring it up because you've been there. You know your backstory. You know where you came from. You just need to get out the detail of what you are right now. You're working on some sort of physical uh, goal, trying to work up to a certain level of fitness, trying to work up to a certain level of time to do something, trying to get into better shape, whatever that is. You don't have to tell yourself that you are disgusting and slow and ugly. You have to tell yourself you're just not where you are right now. But where you are, it's pretty good compared to where you were yesterday. If you're working in business, and sometimes business has little to do with what you can control and what you can do to work with the situation the market's in, and the market's not working so well with you, you are not a failure. Your business may not be doing well. Your business may be in failure mode, but you are not a failure. You just have a business that isn't working right right now. Maybe you need to start a new business idea. Maybe you need to pivot uh, what you're doing right now. Maybe you need to go back to drawing board and sit out in the sidelines for a bit and get a job and build another et nest egg for the next attempt. But you are not a failure. Your business just didn't work out so well. The stories that you are telling yourself and the stories that you're telling others do not need to be all that complicated. And once you tell yourself the right story in the small, succinct way it should be, you can tell other people the stories that you want to, which are true and probably very short and probably don't have much detail on them and will probably leave them bewildered because they'll want to know more and they don't need to know more. If they can't understand the small bite that you gave them, then they don't really need to understand the deep details. They just want to drag it out of you. They want to see you and go through your emotional turmoil by telling the story of pain and sorrow because it's entertaining, not because it's enlightening. You can enlighten someone, teach them something very quickly with just a few words, as opposed to trying to go through a long, drawn out lecture for no reason. They don't want a lecture. They want to see you in pain and suffering. So work on telling yourself the stories that you need to tell yourself, which are number one, that you are good enough and you're on your way to be better. Work on telling yourself that story without going to deep detail of going back and forth, digging up bad memories or making up memories that weren't even there to support a story you don't need to tell. Tell the truth, tell the quick cold truth, and move on. Of course, don't be afraid to tell the truth, the quick cold truth, and move on to other people who want to hear your story or some that actually need to hear that story as you are selling yourself or whatever. But don't feel forced to embellish. Tell a story. Be quick about it and let them have the rest of their time to themselves to take in your story, not to make you take in your pain and misery from telling the story.
Thank you so much for joining us for the podcast this week. We always appreciate the stories you tell from the words we give, how you perceive what we say in these podcasts. And I say we because it's it's I am doing the voicing and doing the main pieces to it that's getting it out to you. But there are people in the background that are listening to what I'm saying, going over my notes and reminding me of some of the stories I'm telling myself that should be edited in my head and edited for for content as well. So trust me, there is editing going all the ways and people telling me about me and my stories as I'm telling you now. So hopefully this information, this lesson will be taken quickly to heart and you can work on those internal stories and external stories you're telling folks. In the meantime, you can get more from this podcast and this whole movement at yourbetteryou.info. That is the home for the Steps to Your Better You podcast, which is 90 seconds, and this one, which is the 10-minute life lesson, all of 10 minutes of life lesson. Every single week you can get one of those or be both of those and a written essay, more or less, uh, inside of the website. If you're looking for more information from us, check out the website. If you want to contact us for Your Better You issues, email yourbetteryouinfo at gmail.com. My main website is jclevenpain.net, and my main email address is also jclevenpain at gmail.com. If you want to contact me directly for something else, check out the website and also check out both websites for information on how we can connect and work together, whether it's coaching, whether it's just for accountability, whether you want to actually collaborate on something uh, either in personal development or other things because you know I do other things. Let me know, and we'll see what we can do to get together and make that work out. The most important thing about the podcast is that you're here. So make sure you subscribe to it so you don't miss out on episodes and share it with other people like Manit folks looking to improve their lives, their stuff, looking for personal development. And you think, feel they're cool enough to be in the gang. And trust me, I'm not that cool. So the gang is pretty much open to anybody wanting to get a little bit better. Thank you once again for being here for this week. And please join us back for next week for another edition of the 10-Minute Life Lesson Podcast, brought to you by yourbetteryou.info.